stars and Hi guys, what is up? Welcome to my channel. So for today's video, I am going to be doing a Valentine's Day tutorial. I wanted to do a really fun, smoky Valentine's eye. And I think we got this really pretty reddish pink smoky eye. And of course, we are primarily focusing on the Natasha Denona Love Palette that just released. You guys asked for more tutorials. So here's another one for you. I thought it was perfect for the time of year, Valentine's Day. And then I also go into using the Love Cheek Glow Palette as well. And of course, a lot of other products. But yeah, you guys seem to really love my tutorial videos. So this is a look we are going for today. So if you want to see how I got this look, then just keep watching. For eye primer, today I'm using the Anastasia Beverly Hills eye primer. I wouldn't say that I personally love this eye primer. I think it's okay. I personally just don't like how white it is. <laughs> For this particular look, I think it's okay that it's white like this just because I do want the colors to stand out. But for every day, this primer just is not for me. We're gonna start off with the shade first right here. I love that this shade was included in here. I'm just gonna use it to set underneath the eyebrow. We're taking the color Valentine right here. By the way, if you see me using a brush with the pink handle, I have a few that I'm using in today's look. These are from the Morphe Jeffree Star collection. Not my favorite brushes, but a lot of my brushes are drying right now. These I find to be a little bit scratchy and they're not gonna last long, like the hair's already falling apart. This color Valentine is much more baby pink when you have this light base. If you go see my original reveal on this palette, I didn't use a white base and it wasn't quite as bright as it is now. So the base that you use really does affect it, but it's still a nice color nonetheless. I just noticed it's extra pink, which is perfect for Valentine's Day with this base. And this look, by the way, just be patient. It's a lot of building and blending. We're gonna take the shade Intense and then start building that up. We're doing a lot of tedious work for today's look because you really want the smoky look to be as seamless as possible. So to get that blend, it really is about the detail work. Taking it a notch deeper, we're using Soul right here. And I don't find Intense and Soul to be too, too different. As you can see, blended on the eye, putting Soul on top is not doing too much more than Intense already did, just from a review standpoint of this palette. And then I'm going to constantly go back with the brush I used for Valentine, that light pink, and really blend this color up. Now it is time for the shade Heart, which is a very pretty true red, perfect for Valentine's Day. This is a Luxie 229, by the way. It is one of my favorite blending brushes because it's the perfect size for small eyes where it creates a blend, but it also kind of packs that color at the same time. This particular color I like, it's a sheer red. It's not a fully packed red when you swatch it, but it really does kind of add an overall redness to the look. So I actually really like that this color is kind of Year. And now we're gonna get into the smoky part. I am taking Heartbeat right here, and this color you'll see is awesome. It just packs right over the eyelid and creates the deep look that we're going for today. With my finger, I'm gonna pack on Passion. Now, I love this color. I wish it was just a touch more creamy, just because it does have some loose glitter particles in there, and I feel like you kind of have to work and pat those those particles in and then repack after you blend because it does lose those beautiful sparkles that I love. So I would recommend for this shade, if you're doing what I'm doing, maybe put a glitter glue underneath. I'm really stubborn. I don't like to lean on glitter glue for shadows, but if you really do love the glitter element that this particular shade has, that is how you can maximize it. And then of course, make sure you blend to keep everything looking nice and smoky and seamless. And then I'm going to repat some of Passion on. The last color for now is transparent. This is going to go in my inner corner. And now we move on to the face. To prime the face today, I'm using the Touch and Soul No Problem Prime Essence. This is very moisturizing, really nice, lightweight moisturizing primer if you have dry skin. 
Next, I'm taking the Makeup Revolution Conceal and Hydrate Foundation. This is such a good foundation. I actually wore this look out for a night and it held up pretty well. Not the most long wearing, but it held up really well and it looked really good. I love this foundation. It's a great affordable foundation. For concealer today, I'm using the Laura Mercier Flawless Fusion Concealer. This is just a great everyday kind of concealer. It's not the best in the world, but it also is like not bad at all. So I do enjoy using it. Of course, I had to use the Natasha Denona Love Glow Cheek Palette. And I'm starting off with the Glow Cream Base just to lay down my cheek color. And I'm using the Huda Beauty Loose Setting Powder just to set under my eyes and my forehead. To bronze the face, I'm using the Kylie Cosmetics Bronzer and Tequila Tan. And this is my amazing Tom Ford bronzer that I'm using to warm up my face with. Back to the Natasha Denona palette, I'm taking the Duo Glow and I'm using this to add a little bit of color and some glow to my cheeks. And then of course we're using the Extreme Glow Powder to add that glow on my cheek. So moving back into the eyes, we're going to work on the lower lash line. It's pretty simple. I'm going to start off with Soul. You guys know how I just love kind of my monochromatic looks. I just can't stray away from the one color eye looks. So this is going to help with the blown out kind of look. I don't like my lower lash line to be too, too blown out. But if your eyes can handle it, go for it. Then we're going to go straight into Heartbeat. And then also with that same brush, I'm going to tap it off and we're going to go into Passion, which is that glittery color. I'm just going to run that along my lower lash line just for a fun glitter pop. Be careful, you will get follow. All right, and now I'm going to fast forward through eyeliner, eyelashes, and all of that. This is the ColourPop Cream Gel Liner in Loverboy. It's a hot pink liner. Really fun pop to add that into the waterline. And then I'm taking the Too Faced Damn Girl Mascara. And I love the formula of this, but I really hate the wand because I have such little lashes. I just always end up hitting my skin with this big fat brush. For lashes today, I went with Lily Lashes in the style Con, one of my favorite lashes ever. I am now lining my lips with the ColourPop lip liner in the shade Bumble. And of course, I'm using my Natasha Denona lipstick in the shade Beatrice. And then I'm going to use the Fenty Gloss in the shade Sweet Mouth for some glow, which you will see in a couple moments. And we are done. Here is the final look. It's a pretty simple tutorial. The techniques are pretty simple. So let me know if you guys are going to recreate this look. I know a lot of you picked up this palette. Now I'm not gonna lie, this was my second time using this palette. And again, quality wise, I had absolutely no issues. Every color blended very seamlessly for me. And overall, this look was really easy to get. And sometimes with a bad palette, you'll find that you can't really get smoky eyes because you can't blend them that well. No problem. I am still loving this palette. I think it is wonderful for this time of year. Let me know if you wear this a look out to Valentine's Day. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Let me know some other videos you would like to see from me. And I will see you guys later. If you are not yet subscribed to my channel, I sure do hope you take the time to do so. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys. Have a good one. I could sit and listen to you.